Okay, we should be all set here. What I'm gonna do is show a few things in the config here of Xenia. This will fix audio issues. Default is 64, you wanna set that to three. Also search for variable underscore and set this to false to fix screen tearing. But also license mask, you wanna change this to one. Otherwise your XBLA titles will be trials. Now, right now you can't use your profiles from the Xbox itself, but this is the way that it was set up before. It's user zero state equals one and user zero XUID equals and then we go in our profile here it would be inside this folder this folder there's your profile bam and save it now right now because they don't support it it'll just delete these lines anyway so it doesn't really matter now i'm going to show you how to import your saves from your actual 360 to xenia All right, so on the Xbox 360, here we wanna go ahead and go to the file manager in Aurora. I have my content folder on USB, so let's run there now. Um, in here is my profile. And as you can see, there's a bunch of numbers and then it'll tell you what the numbers correspond to, which in this case, I'm looking for Banjo-Kazooie. So, There it is. Okay. So it's 58410954. That's what I want to look up on my FTP program on my PC. Also, I want to find the game in the 000 continuous content because these are GOD files, which stands for Games on Demand. And that means that it's an XBLA title. I'm sure if you have your Xbox modded that you did yourself, then you probably know all this already, but anyway. Okay, so over on the PC, we're gonna FTP into our Xbox with FileZilla here. If you've never done this before, then your username and password are Xbox FTP, and you can also find your IP address by pressing the back button on your controller in Aurora. So anyway, going to USB here, content, my profile, and then you can hit control F and that'll bring up the quick search. And Banjo-Kazooie was 584. One zero nine five four. So there it is right there. And I'm gonna start a new folder over here. Call it, well, this isn't even my desktop, I don't think, no. Okay, so, uh, Kazooie, I'll call it. So I'm going to drag that into there. And the continuous zeros, we want to find the same thing. It's already defined it right here. So all we have to do is drag that in there as well. And that's the game. Okay, so we have our Kazooie file here. We're going to bring up Xenia, open file location, and content. Now in here I already have a few, but we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this. Okay, this is the game itself and this is my save. Notice that it's as a bin file, so we're going to have to use Horizon to actually extract the dat file. 
So, open up Horizon. Okay, you can't connect to the server, blah blah blah. None of that matters. You just drag your save in there. There it is. Unknown profile. Okay, contents, save game dot dat. Now we're gonna extract selected and we'll make that kazooie. There we go. So at this point you have banjo save dot bin. What you'll want to do is make a folder that is called banjosave.bin inside that folder. Put your dat file in there, and then your save should work just fine. Okay, so there, it's found my save. I do want to mention that I used this with Minecraft and it worked totally fine, except for I didn't know where the hell I was on the map that I made because it didn't have the saved location for where my character was when I was actually using my profile on my Xbox, so that's an issue. Um, I tried Braid and I could not get that to work. I don't know what was going on. It actually saves as a .save file, so I can't edit anything in Horizon. I can't change the profile that it's connected to, and so I, I really don't know what to do just yet. There will be bugs, but this is what I've figured out so far.